And away from politics now, the drought and famine in northern Kenya has brought forth numerous challenges among the Rendile community in Marsabit County. Most of them have lost their livestock and have nothing to hold on to. But with this, there is a silver lining. The Morans who used to herd the livestock while enduring the hardships in the grazing fields have returned home, choosing to go back to school. Beldin Waliaula with that story. Letire Sangit is 18 years old, a young Rendile Moran from Bala location in Laisamis, Marsabit County. Adorned in his traditional regalia of Ashuka and beads, ear piercings and red hair, he embodies a Rendile Moran. After circumcision, they are bestowed with the responsibility of protecting their animals from human and animal predators and providing security to their families too. At 18 years, he has decided to part ways with his traditional lifestyle to join school. I have tested all the challenges of being a harder, but I want to like to experience school life because I think it's a better way of life. The moment I made up my mind about school, I went to Tirim and asked the teacher if I could join. The school accepted my request and I'm happy they allowed me to join the school. He never had an opportunity to go to school because as a Moran, he was expected to leave home and go out to the grazing fields, which are mostly far away from home. He started when five years old, moving from one area to the next. He only came home for ceremonies. Life in the grazing field has become unbearable. With the drought and scorching sun, they could go without food and water for a couple of days. If it was in starvation, fighting off wild animals and snakes or cattle rustlers would end up killing most of his age mates. School was a safer bet. Uh, Tirim Primary School is known for giving refuge to nomadic children who run away from retrogressive cultures like forced marriages and boys forced to look after livestock. He, he came several times disturbing. More than five times he's been at my home. He's been, he's come, he even came with other warriors. Other warriors like him were coming to uh, persuade me, ask me if he can join the school. Until now, we are able to admit him. In fact, now uh, he's already in our school. He's very comfortable. And uh, I, I, I directed him to, to, if he can abide with all the school rules, this boy is now a new student. And now we have several other children who are in the same capacity. There is a wide gap between the Western form of schooling and the culture deeply rooted here. But over the years, school participation among the Rendile has increased. Now he has discovered a school is more important than looking after camels. He abandoned the camels and visited a school to request for admission. I support the decision to go to school as my son. I wish him well. May God bless him. Drought and famine, which has led to the loss of livestock, has left nomadic communities at crossroads. With nothing left to hold on, Morans have started embracing modern education and the new ways of living, though this threatens the survival of these unique Rendile traditions and culture. Building Waliaula Kitchen News. Right, great report there by Beldin Waliaula. Want us to take another break, but before that, let's.